The importance of Thierry Bone is that he's simply one of the founding fathers of the field of uh, onco-immunology. So basically without his groundbreaking pioneering experiments uh, in the late 1970s, early 1980s, uh, the field of immune therapy uh, would not be the same as it is today. He was the first or one of the first to show that cancer cells can indeed be recognized by our immune system, uh, that our immune system can actually destroy these cancer cells. Uh, he was also the first to identify a number of uh, molecules on cancer cells, uh, also human cancer cells, mainly in the melanoma field, uh, molecules that can be recognized by our immune system. Uh, so he really made, uh, he laid the foundation, he made uh, the really first uh, breakthroughs in this field of immunology. By the way, it's important to say uh, that Thierry Bon always strongly believed in, 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 his, in his work against all odds almost. Uh, there was a lot of skepticism, a lot of uh, criticism even uh, by his colleagues in those days. Uh, few people believed that uh, our immune system would be capable of eradicating tumors. Uh, but look uh, where we are today now. Now we know that the immune system is able to eradicate tumors even in an advanced stage, so that's, that's remarkable. And that's thanks to uh, uh, the perseverance of Thierry Bone uh, in those uh, 1980s. The main importance of Antoni Ribas, in my opinion, is that he is an exceptional, what we call, physician scientist, meaning that I have known Professor Ribas to be at the forefront of the major clinical developments in terms of immuno-oncology, especially in the field of melanoma skin cancer. But not only was he able to be at this forefront of what usually is forwarded by pharma industry, he, only con he also conducts preclinical research or translational re research helping us to comprehend how these medicines work and also why sometimes they don't work, which is of major importance, of course, to keep pushing the field forward. It might be fair to say that the work that Antoni Rebas is doing uh, today and, and did in the past would perhaps not have been possible without the pioneering work of Thierry Bone. So, so uh, they, yeah, they are like two sides of a, of a coin, let's say, in the, in the immunotherapy field. When I asked my PhD students who amongst the new generation of top clinician scientists, would you prefer to have this honor? Uh, and immediately all of them refer to Tony Rivas being the best person to get this award. You will agree it's a great personal pleasure and honor that both our candidates have accepted to become honorary doctor. Tony Ribas on behalf of the Universitaire Ziekenhuis Brussel. And Thierry Bonfaleur on behalf of Vrij Universiteit Brussel. Congratulations. Congratulations.